Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be walking the user through the system test for the Primus IE. Firstly, turn your device on to trigger the system test. A system test will need to be performed every 24 hours or every time the device is switched on. You will not be able to access the system test from the main screen. You will need to turn the device off. During the system test, this is when the flow sensors will also be calibrated. The system test runs for approximately five minutes, but can be cancelled in case of an emergency. Just keep in mind, you will need to perform a test at the next earliest convenience. Your device will power up to this screen seen here. To manually prepare the machine for the system test, follow the instructions listed on the screen. To check your pipeline pressures are adequate, connect your hoses up to the central gas supply. You will then see a corresponding solid LED light under each gas. If your pressure was low, there would not be an LED light. To check your cylinder pressures are adequate, you will need to open up the valves on your reserve gas cylinders on the back of the machine. You will then see a corresponding solid LED light to indicate adequate pressure. If the pressure in your cylinders are low, the LED lights will be flashing. Just keep in mind to close the valves on the reserve gas cylinders to prevent inadvertent depletion during therapy. To check your oxygen flush is functional, hold down the oxygen flush and watch for the expansion of the breathing bag. To check your safety oxygen control, push in the safety oxygen knob, dial up to a high flow and look for the expansion of the breathing bag again. Your flow is indicated on the outside of the safety control knob. Then return it to its original position. To verify your auxiliary oxygen flow meter is functional, open the flow meter and feel for gas. Then close it again. To ensure your vaporizers are ready for the system test, push the lever back to indicate it's in a locked position. Set the dial to zero. Check the fill level through the sight glass and check that the safety cap filler is properly threaded and closed. We are now up to the breathing circuit. Check that it's fully assembled and correctly connected. Verify that your hose connections to the ports of your breathing block are tightly on. To check your gas scavenging, you'll need to have a look at the back of your machine to verify that the orange marker is between the black lines. This indicates you've got adequate scavenging. To check your soda line, Visually inspect your soda lime. There should not be significant discoloration. Soda lime will change from white to purple when exhausted. Checking your water trap means that you are looking for excess fluid accumulation. To remove the water trap, squeeze the clips and pull it out. If excess fluid is observed, you can place a slip syringe into the black port and syringe out the fluid. If the water trap is blocked, there will be a discoloration of the top ports and you'll see it change to a blue colour. To return the water trap, squeeze the clips and firmly push in till you hear a click. Check your suctioning device is functioning as per your usual practice and ensure a manual resuscitator is present in case of device malfunction. To prepare for the self-test, Set the APL valve to 30. Occlude the Y piece of the breathing circuit to the notch on the bag port. And connect your sample line, ensuring one end is connected to the water trap and the other end to the machine side of the filter. And verify your safety oxygen flow control is closed. To start the system test, either press the start self test shortcut key or confirm with the rotary knob. 
Once this system test has been completed, the device will return to the standby screen. The self-test results will be displayed here with a date and a timestamp. Green indicates a fully functioning device. Yellow would indicate a device with some restrictions or limitations. Red would indicate a serious fault has been de detected and do not use the device. Please contact your biomedical engineers. To bring up the details of the self-test results, simply select this option. And all the steps of the test are displayed here with the colour indication of the result. To exit, back to the main screen, press the exit. To access the leak test, this is located from the main screen on the side. A leak test should be completed every time the breathing system is added to or modified. It takes about two to three minutes to complete. For further information, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.